Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 12, 38 to 42. Some of the scribes and Pharisees spoke up. Master, they said, we should like to see a sign from you. Jesus replied, It is an evil and unfaithful generation that asks for a sign. The only sign it will be given is the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was in the belly of the sea monster for three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. On Judgment Day, the men of Nineveh will stand up with this generation and condemn it. Because when Jonah preached, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will rise up with this generation and condemn it. Because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. Blessed be the listening air. The word has power, yet we demand signs. Seeing is believing is one of society's favorite mantras. In the spiritual life though, when did we start giving more prominence to the physical eyes than to the open heart and discerning air? It was by the very word of God that everything we see came into being. Jonah spoke out against the sins of a nation and people repented. A queen traveled far from her home to hear the words of wisdom of the wisest man on earth. At the words of one who was thought to be a stranger, the hearts of the men on the way to Emmaus were set ablaze. The word has power, yet we demand signs. A discerning ear can hear authority, authenticity, passion, courage, conviction, and truth. When we cannot hear, we deny ourselves healing. When we cannot hear, we close ourselves to repentance. When we cannot hear, we refuse salvation. When we cannot hear, we miss God. Grant us, O Lord, a listening ear, that we may hear your voice in those around us and seek salvation. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.